What's the crack, Les? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're just going to be taking a quick little look at the new players that might be coming, right? Now, these nominating contracts, they are up on Thursday, which every Thursday uh, there is a new content refresh. And every couple of weeks, they have these new players that you can get for nominating contracts, right? So if you are new to the game, essentially these nominating contracts are another currency within the game, right? So you've got coins, you've got GP. And then, of course, they are all for the premium items that you see here, such as the legends and stuff for the coins. The GP are just, is the standard players you can buy in-game in, in the standard transfer market. And then these nominating contracts are essentially free players. So you can unlock nominating contracts, as you see here. We've got all of these here. We've got two five-star. You can unlock these nominating contracts. You can get one a month or one a match pass by playing 15 games. And this gives you access to these players that are in here. Um, and this last month we had these new chapter, which was obviously new players that had joined or else new players, you know, that had actually made the first team or had gone into the first team um, and then be getting a lot more minutes. But it was it was mostly transfers and it was mostly players um, that hadn't really featured before. Now, I reckon that we are going to get another Bellingham card. It's all but kind of certain. I mean, he scored two goals against Barcelona uh, in the El Clasico. But it kind of got me thinking, right, about kind of where the future of this could go um, with the players, right? Now, I want your opinions on this and your feedback on this. We've done a couple of mock-ups, right? I think the problem with these cards is usually there's only one must-have card in it. Like, the rest of these packs here, Bellingham is one of the best free players they've ever released, definitely, right, for your free five-star. Chukwueze is fairly decent as well, but they're a dime a dozen. Right midfielder, right winger type players are a dime a dozen. The rest of the cards in here are pretty, pretty, you know, standard in terms of you don't really need to, to spend the nominating contract on one of these cards. Um, you know, you usually get one really good banger of a card, right? And Bellingham has been one of the best ones that they've released in a while. But I would say that the biggest problem is, is that like every now and again, you are going to be able to check out these premium cards and you're going to be able to get a better player that you don't need to train up for in this. Like even with this Worldwide Player of the Week here, we do have a lot of the cards that are done on a weekly basis and they've got a form, right? So I think what the, they should do with these cards, and again, this is where I want you guys to weigh in, right? I think what they should do in these cards is they should refresh them more often um, and have kind of rare cards. So instead of releasing the player of the weeks, right, they should also add these into the nominating contracts for like 24 hours or something like that. I know people will complain and say, well, listen, I don't get on until the weekend. You know, I'm going to miss out on two or three refreshes. But it would give people a reason to actually sign in if these were refreshed all the time. Because once you buy the main player in this, you're not really going to be entering into this again. The nominating contracts lose all value unless there's a really good player there, right? So it kind of got me thinking. I definitely would like to see three of these players in here. We've got Fermin Lopez, obviously from Barcelona. We've got Gravenberch, who seems to have revitalized his career at Liverpool. I know I say revitalized his career, but... He's only a young player. He's still got a massive career ahead of him. And Evan Ferguson, the Irish man, he's down as a, a centre midfielder there, but that obviously uh, is wrong because I should have made the card as a centre forward. But listen, they're the cards that I would like to see. I mean, what do you guys think? Like, what do you guys think of that? If you were to get different cards like that going in uh, and going along to the next stage of this, um, this selection, like if you were predicting cards... I definitely feel like the cards need to kind of go this route. Uh, if we were to see going forward, there's Ferguson fixed. If we were to see these cards going forward, um, like I think that they should just, instead of having like one good player in it, I definitely think they should make the nominating contracts very grindable, right? Now, I would also say that these cards, you could have some unique cards that maybe don't deserve a player of the week but are also able to have like banger of cards because listen, when you've got a 95, 96 rated player that you're never going to play, I mean, it's much more exciting if you can play with like young players or players that are at a club that are maybe not like at the biggest clubs in the world. I mean, obviously I know Barcelona and Liverpool are huge clubs, but for the likes of Brighton, it's nice to play with different unique cards and get more people access to them that might never give, you know, people like Ferguson a go, you know what I mean, um, in the game. And, you know, boost up his stats quite well that you can come up against different style uh, players all the time instead of the same Mbappe, Romario, whatever, you know, until obviously the next big update comes. So let me know what you guys think, lads. Let me know what you think of those mock-ups. Would you like to see more videos like this? And we can extend it out. But until then, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Who would you like to see?